What's up guys, you're working on the Titan here with another video. This time we're doing some Miss Pandaria stuff. Uh, I'm going to show you guys the main abilities I use healing as a monk. Uh, Miss Weaver. Miss Weaver. <laughs> Anyways guys, let's get to it. So the first ability is called Soothing Mist. And it's an ability that gets channeled. Uh, it's a channeled healing ability and it heals for like 10k per second really. That, that's how I would describe it. And sometimes you could for 20k. Uh, let me show you what it looks like real quick. Never mind, they're dueling. Uh, I can't kill them. Let's kill someone not dueling. Right there. Okay, here we go. See? It channels. Okay, so it's like 11k per per second. And it crits for like 23k's like that. Uh, this heal I use when I'm... D depending on the situation, really. If the tank's getting real low, I'll pop that one. And yeah, that that's what that ability does. Soothing Mist. Now, next ability is called Surging Mist. It's pretty much your big heal. It's like uh, really high crits. I've had 75 crit being the highest so far, so this is what Surging Mist looks like, 34k, and the cast time is pretty quick, the cast time is 1.38 seconds, so that's fairly quick, you can really get someone up with that really easy. Next ability guys, I won't be able to use any of these duelers out here for my example, but it's called uh, Renewing Mist, it's a uh, hot, and I'll use it on myself real quick, and it restores pretty much 7, uh, 7k per like 2 seconds. And the cool thing about this is, uh, see it's right here in 8 seconds, when I use the ability Uplift, it automatically re renews that. If you look here in the corner, 3 seconds, use Uplift, automatically renews it and gives you a 9k crit, or sorry, crit, 9k heal. And I can renew it again. And that just cost uh, Chi, pretty much. It costs 2 Chi to use Uplift. And Uplift just re renews the Renewing Mist um, the cooldown. So before it goes out, you just reuse uh, Uplift on the tank. Because uh, you usually have uh, Renewing Mist on the tank. You can have on other people in the dungeon, but usually myself I have it on the tank. And then I just use Uplift when I have Chi, and then I can just renew it. So it's constantly, the, the tanks are constantly getting healed by that, which is great. The next one, guys, is called Enveloping Mist. This is your big AoE heal, and I can't use it because I'm not really in a group, but uh, it pretty much heals your whole group. It heals for 121k over 6 seconds and increases the healing uh, but the target receiving from the Soothing Mist by 30%. So this is like your big AoE heal. So you, you're going to heal the whole group. I have I think I've had like, I've crit the whole group for like 32k. So like the whole group uh, was getting healed very fast. So that's that's your big uh, AoE heal. Another AoE heal you want to use right now is Revival. Let's go to AoE heals I guess. Uh, this heals all party members for like 23k. And then it clears of any uh, magical poison disease effects, which is great. So if you're like your group is like dropping your whole group, you definitely want to pop Enveloping Mist and Revival. Revival is instant cast, so you want to pop that one first, and then you want to go straight to Enveloping Mist. Alright guys, the next ability is called Life Cocoon. I love this one. You want to use it in your tank. So I'm using this guy as an example. Never mind, he's dueling. It's going to make it unfair. I'm going to use it on this major here as an example. So what it does, it gives them a orb like this, and it pretty much absorbs damage, 63,918 damage, and increases all periodic healing taken by 50%. So you want to use it on tanks. So when you have this, you can just pop your other abilities, blah 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 blah, and you heal them for 50% more. And also absorbs damage. So I love to use it on tanks, like if tanks drop like really low, like I, I, maybe I'm not paying attention, I'm texting, I have to get to the healer quick, or I'm just like re being retarded, I'll pop down the tank pop uh, Soothing Mist, the channeling ability, and then I'll just go straight into Surging Mist, and then they're pretty much full health right after that. Alright, next ability guys, this one's one of my favorites, Healing Spheres. You pretty much drop spheres, like watch, I'll show you guys. So these spheres here on the ground, these green spheres, so whenever someone runs over them, okay, it's not showing me because I have full health, uh, watch, hold on real quick, let me fly up and then fall down, get some falling damage. So when you get damage, when you run over them, see 39k crit, and okay, that won't well, let me take the other ones because they pretty much healed me. But uh, they heal, it's different every time. I think it's usually uh, around like 16k is the usual I get. You can drop a whole bunch of these and you just run over them and just instantly getting healed, which is very nice. I like to pop these uh, where, wherever the tank's standing, I'll pop them right in the tank and then take, instantly take the orb up and get healed, <laughs> which is great. Which is nothing I love to do. So, uh, Healing Sphere is a great thing to do. Uh, also, you could uh, you could use it in a chain type thing. So, when you pop Life Cocoon and you use Soothing Mist to channel ability, Surging Mist, and you still it up, 
I'll just pop a whole bunch of spheres like right on them. Like I'll just go like this, the the, the tanks right here, and I'll just keep popping him. He'll take him up in the same spot where he's standing. So he'll he'll like absorb the orbs and get healed by that, which is great. It's awesome. All right, uplift. I already went over. Oh, of course, summoning the the, the Jade Spirit uh, statue. It'd be like no, nah, it doesn't really move. It'd just be flowing there like straight up. But okay, this is what the totem looks like, guys. And this is great. So remember the channeling ability, soothing mist. It also channel channels soothing mist to it, so it heals just like it's like double soothing mist. Watch. Okay, it's healing me now, but when the target is closer and is in a party with you, it'll heal that target too. Which is great. It's like double heal, so you heal super quick. And another thing I forgot to mention, guys, when you use... No, I don't want to duel you. Get out of here, you noob. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> you could probably beat me. Alright, anyways, guys. Soothing Mist, when you use it... Uh, when you're using Soothing Mist and you automatically click Renewing Mist, your Renewing Mist will uh, automatically crit, I believe, or what was it? I just did this in a dungeon. I had another, uh, blah, blah, blah. yeah. When you heal Soothing Mist, you have a twenty. No, never mind. There's something with that. I remember. Hmm. Uh, let's see. Oh, it's, it's, it's for the statue. Yeah, there you go. When you cast Soothing Mist, the Jade Serpent will also cast. No, that's not it. Uh, ba 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 ba. Yeah, anyways, guys, I, it's something with that. I'll refig that until your next video. But anyways, guys, that's pretty much your main abilities. And then you have uh, Resuscitate, which is pretty much your revive. You take the dead person, bring him back to life. And those are your main healing abilities that you want to be using. Uh, I will be making more videos for the talents, the glyphs, uh, this, yeah, that kind of stuff. Also, showing some uh, dungeon videos of me and what abilities I'm using. Show you how to keep the whole group up, stuff like that. Uh, anyways guys, hope you guys enjoyed this video, and uh, stay tuned for more beta coverage for Miss Weaver. I'm going to be covering that a lot, and I'm still leveling guys, you see I'm almost into level 87, halfway to 87, so I'm still leveling, and my, some of my gear is uh, 405 or 410 item level of gear, so anyways guys, uh, I'm still leveling, hopefully hit 90 soon, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and don't forget to thumbs up, subscribe to all that good stuff, and I'll see you guys in the next video, alright later guys. This video is part of the Way Movement, a career path in video sponsored by TGN. To learn more, visit TGN.tv.